you know, one of the things about uh, a good adult male uh, as they season and they grow older, they have a they have a tendency to grow in confidence in a way that's almost you know admirable right um bull was able to watch young pups play get aggressive do everything that they was doing and really not intervene just sit back and watch and watch and watch and uh never really looked like he was too bent out of shape now there came a time after Raina started showing uh, signs of um, hormonal change, Bull became a little bit more protective over that play that Raina and Solo had become accustomed to. And so the jumping on Raina and mounting her and being real rough with her, Bull began to take exception to and intervene. And initially when he would intervene, he would lick Solo down. Literally just, you know, stick his nose in between him and uh and Raina. Between Solo and Raina and begin to lick Solo directly in the mouth. Right? You just lick him, lick him, lick him, lick him, lick him. Incessantly lick him, lick him, lick him. And Solo would eventually just kind of lay down and kind of submit, literally submit. And I think I even made a video to the fact I was like, wow, it's the first time that that's some OG slick shit. I've never seen a, a male dog lick uh, a, a another dog, another male dog into submission. That that was some slick shit, right? Um, and then there came a day where I guess the whole being in my face, licking my face constantly thing became annoying. And I don't know exactly what happened. I didn't see it. But uh, the old dog took exception to the young dog's uh, gestures and uh, began to, to, to promptly discipline. And it was very interesting because it was it was definitely a pack discipline, right? It was, it, it, it was an older dog disciplining a younger dog. And um, when the younger dog tried to put up a fuss, that's when the older dog really said, all right, let me, let me explain to you what I'm talking about, right? Let me, let, let, let me give you a little bit more of a, a insight as to how this can go. And he really clamped down on that ear, you know. Um, and uh, left Solo in some distress. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, you know what I mean? Can't say I saw bad signs. Can't say I uh, even um, can't can't say that the uh, you know. I ain't hear no yelping, you know, none of that. There was some frustration there. Yeah, I, I heard that. You know what I mean? I heard that. Uh, Bo had a had a hold of that 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 head just behind the ear, and and he was so well placed in in his um in his attack, so to speak, that um like Solo couldn't get him out of it. No matter what he did, he threw him around. He did every manner of, um, you know, overpowering and, you know, weight throwing that he could do. He both stayed right in there, right in there behind that motherfucking ear. Right in there. Right in there. He didn't even grab the ear. He grabbed behind the ear at the base and just kept that hog in place. Kept that hog in place. That hog tried to bite back, but he kept that hog right in place.
Pretty that big boy just like a hog. <laughs>